Well, Tom, there's um, lots to talk about. First of all, um, personally, um, some awards for you um, ahead of this Grimsby game. You must have been very proud of that. Yeah, um, like I said at the start of the season, I've, um, I've had to prove myself to a lot of people and um, and lucky enough it's um, come off for that. And, and um, like you said, I've won some great awards this season. I'm not, not surprised at all. You've had an outstanding season. When, when was the turning point, would you say, in your Rovers career? When last season you were, you were left on the bench? Yeah, um, it, I think towards the end of the season when the gaffer pulled me and he he, um, he had some words with me and told me what he thinks um, I need to do and that and lucky enough I took it on board, went away and worked hard over the summer and um, lucky enough it's all paid off and um, and it's um, shown on the pitch hopefully. Some players would have sulked, why didn't you sulk at the time when you look back? What Was it just a determination to prove that you, you can do it? Yeah, I just wanted to prove to everybody that um, I am worthy of wearing the Bristol Rovers shirt. Um, it was disappointing last season but I thought that if I go out, work hard and come back and prove to everybody that I am worthy of wearing it, then um, I can get that respect back. What's been your highlight of the season? Um, probably scoring four goals <laughs> in the season. <laughs> now, um, I think I think most of it's been the highlight of it, to be fair. I think we, um, we've we been outstanding as a team and, and the gaffers worked really well with us and um, I think we deserve where we are at the moment. And Forest Green, um, you beat them convincingly over two legs. I mean, when the pressure's on, the lads delivered, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. We um, we knew, we we the gaffer worked with us, and we knew what we had to do. And um, the boys worked hard in both games. And um, as you see, like we got a good win, and um, and also we got two good clean sheets. T tell me about your relationship and partnership with Mark McChrystal this season. Um, it's really blossomed again, hasn't it? Yeah, he's, he's like like you see, Mac is um, an experienced player, so he helps me on the pitch all the time. He's always talking, and he um, and I always talk with him and. Um, I think it's been two seasons now. We've we've been together and, um, and we've built a good a good um, bond there. And um, hopefully um, we can take that into the final and um, hopefully get another clean sheet and gives us a great opportunity if we can do that to win the game. I see you as a, an experienced player, Tom. And yet, just remind me of your age. Yeah, 23. Right. Do you feel like you've packed a lot into those those years so far? Yeah, like I've um, I started. I, lucky enough, I started my career as a. I signed my first year contract at like 17, so um, it feels like I've also been around a while. But um, no, I don't look at it that way. I just want to play football and um, get, get as many games and play as many games as I can. You keen this week? There's a two-week break, isn't it, between Forest Green and Grimsby? This week you're going to get just those annoying things like tickets and family requests out the way and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's we've got to make sure we get them all sorted early on, and then we can start to focus on the game next week. Um, I think the gaffer will um, make sure that we sort that out anyway because that's what he's good at, sort of making sh sure that things are sorted and um, we've got our head on the game. How many family and friends do you expect to be at Wembley? I've, I think I've only got about 15 <laughs> coming at the moment. But, quite a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think some of the boys have got more than that. So, <laughs> But no, I think um, it's a great day out for everybody to come to. So um, I can see why people have got a lot of people coming to watch the game. So. Um, Hopefully, on that day that we can um, show them a, what a good day is at and hopefully win the game. Yeah, some teams ahead of a Wembley final tour it maybe the day before. You're going to get it out of the way nice and early. Is that is that a good idea? If the gaffer thinks it is, then yeah, <laughs> I think I, uh, we do whatever the gaffer says. So um, getting it out of the way, having a walk around, seeing what um, is expected, and getting to um, getting used to the pitch, see how big it is. Um, it's good for us because then we can work on it, and um, hopefully when we when we do walk out on the pitch, that we're um, we're not um, we're not afraid of it. To be fair, the manager wants to treat it like an away game. The preparations. How easy will that be when you're, you're driving on the coach to Wembley Stadium? It's not exactly um, brain tree away, is it? No, I totally agree. But I think um, also we just got to think that it's just another game, and we've got to make sure that we go there. We're we're disciplined as we when we get there, and um, and like we've done all season, trying um, if it's. Traders in away game, try and keep our record that we've got from having away games. Mm. You beat Grimsby earlier this season away from home. Do you take confidence from that performance because you missed a penalty as well? Yeah, I think that if um, we can look back at that and say, well, we've we've took four points from them, and, um, and that is a massive positive for us. But um, in these kind of games, teams always pick up their performances, so we've got to make sure that we pick up ours as well, and um, hopefully give them the, an hard game. Two more questions. First of all, how much have Rovers improved from the side that played Grimsby on the opening day of the season in August? Oh, it's massively. You can see that. Um, like you can see that we just missed out on automatic promotion, and that's disappointing. But you know, and then to carry on like we have done and get into the playoff finals, it's um, it's a great achievement for the club as well. And Daryl Clark has been to Wembley once as a fan. How many times have you been to Wembley? 
Um, I've been once, but it wasn't for a good thing, it was for a bad thing then. But no, this is my first time as a, as a professional to go and play there, so um, hopefully it's um, one to remember. Have you been as a fan to Wembley? No, I went there to get fined by the FA. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, this so. is a big, big chance to make amends, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is. So um, hopefully I can go there, get um, a good medal, and um, hopefully it's a great achievement for everybody that day.